Hey friend, welcome to the channel. In today's video, you're going to learn some phrases that you can use for everyday casual office interactions. If you like that type of content, give the video a like and consider subscribing. Now, back to the video. Enjoy. Hey there. So in today's lesson, we're going to learn some phrases and sentences that you can use for casual office interactions. So here's what we're going to cover today. We're going to learn how to make a polite request. We'll learn how to ask for help and offer help. We learn how to explain a misunderstanding and we will see different types of phrases that you can use for different types of simple office interactions. So let's begin with how to make a polite request. If you want to make a polite request, here are a few phrases that you can use. So always start with something like, I was wondering, or would you be able to, or could I have, or could you possibly, or would you mind? So these are some very polite expressions that you can use in a very formal context. So let's see a few examples of sentences that you can say. Number one, I was wondering if you could do something for me. So this is a good way to start when you want to ask something of someone. I was wondering if you could do something for me. Number two, would you be able to do something for me? Number three, could I have it within 10 minutes, please? Number four, could you possibly help me with something? And number five, would you mind doing this later? And it's even better if you don't forget to add please at the end of your request. Now let's see how to ask someone not to do something. So here, you don't want to ask someone to do something for you, but you actually want to ask someone not to do something. So you can tell this person, sorry to have to ask you this, but, and then you can add, would you mind not doing that, please? Or I'm afraid it's against company policy, or I'm afraid it's not permitted to do this, or I'm afraid this is forbidden, or I'm afraid doing this is not allowed. Now let's see how you can ask for help and what kind of phrases you can use. So there are plenty of phrases you can use when you want to ask for help from the simple ones to the more sophisticated ones. So let's start with the simple ones. You can just say, I need some help please, or I can't manage. Can you help? A more polite way to say this would be, I could do with some help, please. Or give me a hand with this, will you? Or instead of give me, you can say, lend me a hand with this, will you? Or a different way to ask this is, can you give me a hand with this? Or could you help me for a second? You can also ask, can I ask you a favor? And then follow up with, I need help with this or that. Or you can start your sentence with, I wonder if you could help me with this and follow up with whatever it is that you need help with. Or you can also say, could you spare a moment? If you want to go even further in being super polite when asking for help, you can say something like, I would be most grateful if you could give me some help. Or please, could I ask you for some advice? Or start with, I know you're busy, but could you spare me a few minutes of your time, please? Now let's see how you can offer your help to someone. When you offer help to someone, there are plenty of phrases you can use. You can say, do you need help? Which is the most simple way to ask someone if they need help. Or you can offer, how can I help? Or what can I do to help? Or simply, can I help you? Or can I help you with something? 
Or you can say, is there anything I can do? Or you can just offer your help and say, let me help. Or you can ask, can I give you a hand? Or give me a shout if you need anything, which is not exactly offering help, but you're just letting the person know that you're available if they need your help. In this part, we're going to see how to explain a misunderstanding. So misunderstandings happen and it's always a bit embarrassing, but there are a few ways that you can start to explain. So always start with, I'm sorry, if you made a mistake or if there is something you didn't understand properly or you think you understood, but actually you didn't. Start with, I'm sorry, and then say something like this. You can say, I think there's been a misunderstanding, or you can say, there's been a bit of a mix-up, and then follow with, let me explain what happened, or you can just say, what happened is this. Now we're going to see a few different kinds of office interactions, and we'll start with what to say and what to do when you can't find something or what to respond when somebody is asking you where something is. So if you want to find something or you can't find something and you want to ask your colleagues if they have seen it or if they know where it is, here are a few ways that you can ask that. Number one, you can say, do you know? where the XYZ file is, or simply, do you have the XYZ file? Or is anyone using the XYZ file right now? Or has anyone seen the XYZ file? And if you're the person who is being asked, here are a few responses that you can make. So you can ask, did you check the file cabinet? It should be there. Or you can suggest, well, check the bin. Maybe somebody put it there by accident. Or you can say, oh, it's on my desk. I forgot to put it back. Or you can say, oh, it's in my office. I'll give it to you or I'll get it for you. Now, let's see what to say if you want to borrow something to someone, to one of your colleagues, for example. So always start with, excuse me. Again, starting with excuse me is always a very polite way to say anything in any kind of situation. So excuse me, are you using this book right now? Or can I borrow this book? Or you can say, are you finished with this file? Or have you finished with this file? These two phrases actually mean the same thing. Or you can ask, are you done with this file, which is also another way to ask, to say, are you finished or have you finished? You can just simply ask if you can use this file. So you can say, can I use this file? Or do you mind if I use this file? Now let's see what you can say if you need something from someone, for example, from one of your colleagues. So again, start with, excuse me. And then you can ask, do you have an extra mouse? Or do you have another network cable? Or do you have a blank USB key that I can have? Or I ran out of labels. Do you have any that I can have? Or can I borrow your stapler? Or do you have a hole puncher? Or do you have a staple remover by any chance? Now let's see what to say when you're busy, which is a situation that can happen often when you work in an office and your colleagues ask you something or your boss asks you for something. You can just say, I'm busy right now, which is a bit dry. So maybe you can try to say, I'm busy right now, sorry, or I, I'm swamped right now, sorry. And then you can ask, can I, can I do this later? Or does it have to be done now? Or do I have to do this now? Or another way to ask that is, can this wait until tomorrow? Or when do you need this by? When is the deadline? Or you can say, I'm not going to have 
time for another assignment until tomorrow. And if you're really desperate, you can say, well, if I don't get any help, I'm not sure I will be able to complete this on time. Now, if you're busy, but you want to show that you're going to do your best to free up your schedule or get the task completed, you can say these sentences. You can say, I'll try to free up my schedule. So for example, you start with, I'm really busy right now. I'll try to free up my schedule. Or I'm swamped right now, but I'll do my best to finish this on time. Or I'm really busy right now, but I'll do whatever I can to finish this on time. And if you really want to show that you're a very reliable person and you're trustworthy, then you can say, you can count on me or I won't let you down. Well, that's it, everyone. We have come to the end of this lesson. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.